this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a round brush flower painted on this green glass bottle. I have already washed this off, went over it with rubbing alcohol, and it's ready to go. I'm going to be using 3A Magic round brushes, a number 14, an 8, and a number 2. And then my fine liner by Westonia. All folk art paints, a mixture of enamels and multi-surface. I'm using Violet Pansy. Wicker White, Happy Green, Thicket, and a Yellow Ochre, and Burnt Umber. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is use the number 14 round brush. I'm going to come in here and just stick it, uh, put in a lot of white, and then I'm going to basically push down, pull around. I'm going to just create these petals for the flower by just creating the shape of the petal with the brush. So I'm basically just pushing it down and pulling it towards the center. But this flower I'm intending to have five petals. Again, it's just a light coat of the purple and pulling towards the center. And then I'm going to go over here. I just try, like to try to stagger them a little bit. This surface definitely is not as big as the surface that I use for my paper my, uh, when I do my samples. Alright, and then I'm going to come down here and do one last one. So I'm doing three. I like to do my threes. And I don't know why. I'm always into the odd numbers. But I am. Okay, then I'm going to come in just dip my paint brush into the white. And I'm going to go back over it again. And I'm just, again, just laying the brush down and pulling it towards the center. Nothing fancy. That's why I like to create things that are easy, easy designs. That if you can hold a paintbrush, most people can create these. And you're still creating something pretty, but it's simple. Pretty and simple. That's what I like. And by going over this with another coat of paint, you're actually making it a more durable design because the paint is thicker. And it's not transparent, it's more opaque. Again, I'm just pushing down and pulling towards the center. Pushing down, pulling towards the center. Very easy. Hoping that I'm staying on the camera. Sorry if you heard my dog just snore. any questions or comments please feel free to place those down below I'd love to hear from you now you could always go back over this if you wanted more purple showing you could do that but I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this video I'm just going to keep moving all right next thing I'm going to do is come with the round brush the number eight I'm just going to put it into my burnt umber and I'm going to come back in here. I want to make sure I have some paint on this brush because I'm doing wet on wet. So I want to make sure I'm not pulling too much of the bottom color up. And it helps when you have your brush full of paint to try to avoid that. I'm just tapping it in. 
tap, tap, tap. Now you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can vary the centers. Then I'm going to tap it into the burnt umber, or the uh, yellow ochre, sorry. Just tap it in there and put some of this into the center as well. And then if you wanted, if you thought that's too much of the, the burnt, I'm sorry, I keep saying that, the yellow ochre, you can come back over a little bit with more of the burnt umber. All right, pretty simple so far, right? All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is come in here with my liner. Just stick it into the sides of the paint, roll it out, pull it out, and then I'm going to do what I can here to pull a stem down. Don't have to have a stem if you don't want. You can always just do the leaves around the flowers, but I'm going to have a stem. And again, it's just very simple. All right, so I'm just going to kind of wipe this off a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is go into my uh, burn umber and I'm going to do some pulls here out. Just a few, not a lot, because I want to be able to put some regular leaves. But what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just, oops, that's not the right one. I'm going to take this brush, and this is the number eight, put it back into there, and then I'm going to just kind of touch it down, wiggle it a little bit. Now I can tip in some white on this. I wasn't going to initially do that because it's hard to see on this glass, I'm going to. And I'm just kind of pushing it down and pulling another piece to the side of it. You can wiggle it more if you want so that it's more of a rough leaf. But it's a little bit different than what I normally create. I got too much white on that one. If you were doing watercolors, this would flow nicely. brown on here. I'm getting them too white. I don't want them this white. And like I said, you can have just like a little thinner piece that comes out from it if you want. It's just a little different type of a leaf. Right, like that and just very loose again just to give you a little bit of uh, just a different type of a piece to have in there now with this I'm going to do just basic leaves and I'm gonna pull it back round it off a little bit here do the same up here. I'm doing the, the greens and the, well actually the greens together. And you can make them rounder, rounded tips if you want, but basically I'm just pushing it down and pulling it back. I can have one side a little bit higher. That's up to, up to you. I don't want to mess in there, so I'm just going to leave, whoops, sorry. I'm just going to leave it there.
There you go. And just doing this, just period, you know, like in different spots. No set place to have to put them. So basically you can do the shapes like you did for the flower itself or you can make these just a little bit like uneven or they can be even up to you. The leaves don't have to be difficult, they really don't. So like I said, you can put them in different spots. I'm going to go like this, have it kind of hanging down a little bit. And I can actually even turn it to, if, if the stem were a little bit longer, this would probably make more sense. But it's quite short, so it looked a little different on my on my paper, but it's still good. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share my video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Just hit the share button you'll find underneath the video and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.